What is up? This is Crazy J here bringing you a. Basically, I'm going to be bringing you a OCC coil, a rebuild coil, uh, OCC coil build video. Um, basically, showing you how to rebuild your OCC coil. Um, it's not that hard to be truthfully honest it's actually very very easy um i've already taken my coil apart though and i'm not going to take apart the uh this is for the um kanger tech sub tank just like this one oh yeah getting some vapage um i have a nichrome Nichrom coil, um, 28 gauge. The wire that was, this was the one that was in it. That was already in this 0.5 ohm one. Um, this is the pin. This is the pl the plug, plug slash plunger, I'm going to call it. Um, and this is the coil that was in it. I'm going to go ahead and cut the, um, take the, uh, cotton basically the organic the Japanese organic cotton out of this so let's go ahead and take that off God, the coils got a hold of it good there man that stuff was dry 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 and it was not that old of coil but let's see what gauge this wire is let's see I believe it was a five wrap coil. I'm pretty sure. That's what it should have been at least. I'm gonna rewrap it. Basically rewrap this. Up oh, a little gay. Little gay piece that you don't need popped off that they have on theirs. Yeah, it was like a five wrap, I believe. Yeah, five wrap. The little extender piece that they solder on, I guess, um, came off. But I'm gonna go ahead and unextend this again. Basically, took it apart just so I could figure out how to rebuild it. I watched a couple rebuild videos, and um, it's not that hard to rebuild it, to be truthfully honest. But I'm going to be using some nichrome coil. This is not the one I'm going to use, but yeah. Um, let me compare these two. Obviously. That's pretty close. It's I believe it's like a 27 gauge or a even maybe a 26 gauge coil um, that's in it. But I'm pretty sure it's canthal. So I'm not going to worry about using canthal wire. I'm going to use some of this 28 gauge nichrome wire instead. So I'm going to wrap my coil up real quick and I will be right back. Alrighty, welcome back. This is Crazy J. My phone, which is what I'm using to record right now, ended up dying. I have an iPhone 5S and I, I forgot it, I, it was about to die and I forgot to charge it and it died. So I don't know what part I left off on because you know how iPhone 5S is are. They take like 10... 15 minutes to charge back up basically but anyways what I was talking about I think exactly what I was talking about was this uh, coil well I was making it basically I was remaking it rebuilding it which is just an OCC standard uh, sub tank King or tech sub tank coil for the uh, mini or nano I guess you could do it with a nano too from what I've been also told but anyways I just dropped it Kick it back over to me um, this is basically my rebuilt version basically what I used was a little screwdriver to stick in here and hold the uh, while like basically made a long uh, basically the way I cut my canthal or not canthal the uh, the way I cut my um, my organic cotton basically 
is I cut it basically just like this, but a long, long, a longer piece, obviously, because a short piece like this wouldn't work. And then basically you take it and you gotta cut like this. And then you, with it being so long, you basically wrap like this. And then you can stick that whole thing through and then you grab it, basically pull it through. And then when you're pulling it through, you take a screwdriver, a flat edge screwdriver. Hold your very end coil while you're pulling it through. So basically you're doing it like this. You're holding it like this and you're pulling that through. And then voila. And then you use your screwdriver your flat edge screwdriver to basically line everything back up if it for some odd reason came unlined let me get down close up with it on the uh, camera and show you that tape holding it so I'm with that solid so come on light I know you can be brighter Trying to get a good view. Basically, that is it. I know that's probably a dark view. That's a little bit better. There is my coil. It has, I believe, five wraps. There's six wraps. It's a six wrap coil. I used Nichrome 28 gauge coil and basically I left a little bit of a fray on the outside as you can see to hold that like that because I, I figured if I did that left a little bit of a fray instead of putting it and basically what I did after I did that was I basically just went in circles and didn't push too hard just to try to fluff it up and keep put it on the put it as close as I could and basically just fluff it up as much as I could because the more fluffy I figured the more space it has the more uh, surface it's covering so the more it should get more um, juice so I won't be using this today I'll be using this probably sometime next week so whenever I do put it in, I'll make sure to do a video of me putting it in and whatnot. So, yeah. But from what I've been told, and from all the videos, I've watched tons of videos on this now. You want to make sure it's centered, from what I've been told, and from all the videos. If it's not centered, I'm gonna I'm gonna flood in. If it's not centered on the inside in there, it's not gonna work right. Plus, you gotta make sure you wrap your coil like you have one. See, you can see the my one coil right here, the one, and then you can see the second one right here. So one's coming up and going around right here, and the other one, which is on the top side, touching this part. And then the other one is under, which is this one, it's under the this uh, red o-ring, this little plunger, and it's right there. Which, there's two little indentations, one here and one there, that you put it in, and that's where you want it to be in. And that holds it into place and gives it a better seal too. So, yeah. So, I mean, it's it looks basically... I take my other one, the one I have not messed with at all. There's all my there's all my stuff I have. Basically if you take this one, look at it, and then take this one and look at it. It's pretty good. It's not too bad. I did a pretty good job. The only difference is is this is has cotton on the inside, which is not hard to do, you just push it in. But I didn't want to do that. Because if you look at look at it on the inside right here, that's what they did. They just took it and pushed it in and then took the went in on the inside and just pushed it on like that so I mean you can do it just like a stock coil but I want to leave some of it out because I bet it will hold and get more liquid on the coil on the inside of the coil a lot better than it being this way so 
I have a 1.2 ohm and then whatever ohm coil this is I have no idea I need to test it but I'm not going I don't have nothing really to put it on right now to test the ohms on my ohm reader if I could screw it into my ohm reader let me see that red that black uh back thing right there the black yep I'm gonna try to see if I can put it, put it on my own reader. I know this is becoming a very long video. A lot longer than what I wanted it to be, to be truthfully honest. I know it won't bend on, but I wonder if I could just push it a certain way and let it touch. No. I don't think it will. Oh, wait. Point two, you see that 1.2 it's saying basically what I did was that sticking out right there on the bottom side which is should be the ground part and I was just basically touching that part the, the side part and then the bottom part the bottom part so maybe that was right maybe it's not I don't know so maybe that's right maybe it's not I don't know gotta love testing stuff but yeah I got this little thing from uh, my good old Michael's basically a Hobby Lobby shop. It was six. It was three dollars for six containers and with Canthal and your Nichrome small um, Spools it fits they fit in there perfect. You can label them just like I did I got my 30 gauge which I'm basically out of I got a little bit of it left um, 22 gauge. I got my Nichrome 28 gauge. I got my 26 gauge Canthal my 28 gauge Canthal so yeah, which you could tell my 28 gauge Canthal came unwrapped, which kind of blows, but you know what? And I wrapped this one, this 22 gauge was on a big spool. I wrapped it on the small spool, so. And then I have my OCC coils on the bottom for my, um, my sub tank, so. Happy vaping, bitches.